Good morning, my name is Alejandro, I am from the University of Malaga and in this work uh, I will present our work about the propagation of a notch fatty crack on a margin steel under biaxial conditions. <clears throat> in this study, uh, Alfonso Exposito, Pablo Lopez Crespo and me collaborate with Ricardo Branco, Luis Borrego and Fernando Antunes from the University of Coimbra. Okay, the objectives are uh, one, the characterization of the propagation of a fatigue crack from a notch in an uh, additive manufactured 18 nickel 300 sample under biaxial load, and two, the assessment of two critical play models, fatigue life prediction and crack angles, with uh, Smith Watson on topper and Fatemi Sosi. In the next slide, it is shown the experimental procedure. Tests uh, were performed at room temperature with load control and a frequency below E3 Hz to avoid extensometer pins slide. Digital image correlation technique was applied in order to obtain stresses and strains on the specimen surface and track also the crack growth. The camera used was a flair gazelle simosis of 4 megapixels with a set of lens navigator which gives uh, a magnification of 9. This test was conducted in a MTS-809 servohydraulic machine that produced axial loading and reverse torsion. Uh, okay, two types of uh, loading paths were studied uh, to test the material <clears throat> at low cycle and high cycle fatigue. Uh, to do that, uh, we use uh, previous experimental data of this type of material to obtain uh, a load estimation uh, the plot here below show the shear and normal stress value uh, of the loading path for the low cycle fatigue regime. With this value, uh, the maximum equivalent stresses uh, is uh, around half uh, uh, the GL stress of the material and will produce a fatigue life uh, around 6,000 uh, cycles using this, this curve. Okay. Um, here is shown the stress values to obtain a, a higher fatigue life. In this case, uh, the, the value of the maximum stress uh, in the loading path, uh, uh, the equivalent bone business stress, is uh, around uh, a quarter of the GL stress of the, ma of the material. Uh, and we expect uh, values uh, of, of, of the, with this, uh, with this uh, loading path around uh, 100,000 cycles. Um, the biaxial extensometer uh, was coupled uh, to the specimen during all the tests for the low cycle uh, fatigue test and for a high cycle fatigue test uh, uh, was uh, mounted after the first uh, 40,000 cycles. Then the frequency uh, is uh, increased uh, up to 6 Hz to uh, end uh, quicker. Uh, Pictures <coughs> were taken at uh, 0.05 Hz during three cycles. Uh, the test was stopped each uh, 500 cycle for low cycle fatigue and 5,000 5, cycles for high cycle fatigue test. Um, the crack tip position is checked, uh, is checked increasing the magnification uh, of our lens set and comparing maximum load picture uh, with the previous step. Okay. To generate uh, the crack in the focus point, uh, it is drilled a hole that acts as a stress concentrator. To do that, uh, we used a drill bit of 0.3 millimeter diameter. Um, the hole that we uh, manufactured was uh, slightly uh, bigger, around 0.35 uh, to 0.42 millimeters. Uh, this picture uh, uh, was for the sample number two and sample number three. Okay, the material uh, is uh, an additively manufactured <coughs> margin uh, steel 18 nickel 300. Uh, the manufacturer parameters are shown below. Uh, the laser power uh, was of 400 watts, uh, 40 micrometers layer thickness, um, and speed of uh, 850 millimeter per second. Um, the sample was a hollow cylinder. 
uh, for the VXL test uh, with the measures that are shown below. And this sample were manufactured in vertical direction. Uh, a point to consider here is the higher roughness show when it is uh, manufactured. Because to apply the digital image correlation technique, uh, the surface must be prepared previously. Uh, these pictures below uh, in this slide show the step followed to obtain a surface pattern to apply uh, the dig technique. Uh, all the steps were done manually with uh, sandpapers of uh, different numbers, ending with this uh, number 1200 to create uh, the final pattern that uh, in this case is shown with a uh, higher brightness but um, when we take uh, when we took the pictures for dig the these uh, brightness are lower okay in this slide uh, is shown the studied models uh, Fatemi Sossi and Smith Watson and Topper Fatemi Sossi damage parameter defines an angular strain corrected by the normal stress acting on the critical plane the normal stress effect weight uh, changes uh, according to the K parameter that depends on the crack um, uh, stage. Uh, on the other hand, positive values will be more detrimental to the fatigue life than decompressed values. The critical plane is defined on the plane with a higher shear strain amplitude along the load cycle. This model is oriented to material with more ductile behavior materials. Uh, on the other hand, Smith Watson and Toppers uh, is more simple but show better results for material with a more brittle materials. Uh, the critical plane is defined on the plane with the maximum uh, normal strain. In both cases, the mean stress is included with the maximum stress value. Uh, the fatigue properties uh, of the materials are from a previous work of Ricardo Branco, uh, shown here uh, below. Uh, obtained with a different geometry and a layer scan speed slightly different. Okay, fatigue life is estimated with samples with and uh, without notch. The upper left plot uh, shown the mean stress along uh, a low cycle fatigue test showing the accumulated strain. For sample without notch, uh, strain values are obtained uh, directly from the extensometer and middle fatigue life. Along the cycle is evaluated different planes uh, to find the one with the higher maximum shear strain range. This value is defined using the circumscribed cycle method proposed by Papadopoulos. For notch samples, the local stresses and strains are obtained with a finite element model. model. Uh, the model used uh, tetrahedral elements with a size of uh, 10 micrometers close to the notch. The hardening uh, is in included with Chaboche models. Uh, this model is validated with a common material from our laboratory, which is well characterized. As this work is uh, recent uh, from June, uh, we have not all the fatigue properly required to model this model properly. So uh, this slide show the results. For example, without notch and two, the number two and number five, um, with uh, a, as a notch. As it can be seen in the first sample, the crack appears perpendicular to the manufacturer direction. The next test with notch show an initial crack from the notch at uh, 60, 64 and degrees but uh, finally it broke uh, out of the notch zone because of this uh, the crack growth values were rejected in this day, in this case and the test was repeated with the sample number five in this case the crack growth again from the notch uh, at, in this case at 50 degrees approximately but in this time it grows until failure from this crack this value were used for the characterization of the of the crack. Uh, the crack angle estimation uh, in this case of Smith Watson and Topper was uh, 60 degrees, so uh, are better than the one defined by Fatemi Sossi. Uh, fatigue life values estimated by both models are shown here. Um, 
for low cycle fatigue test. Uh, sample number one uh, is the sample without notch and sample two and sample three. Sample five uh, is with, are with notch. As the finite element uh, model is not yet defined for this material, all the results uh, are calculated using the extensometer value for the strains. Fatemi Soci estimation are presented uh, with uh, blue squares and Smith Watson on top with green triangles. As it can be seen, the fatigue life for all of them are similar. Better results are obtained with Smith Watson and Tober. Fatemi Soci is more conservative in, in this case. The slides show the result for the high cycle fatigue test. In this case, the, per, per, the prediction of both models are a bad, probably because of the material properties characterization. For sample 4 uh, with notch, the crack starts from uh, the hole, but finally it, uh, uh, finally it fails out of it. So the values were again rejected. The crack angle in this case was uh, 68 degrees, so Smith Watson and Tuber again returns a better angle estimation. Okay, here is shown the crack growth rate versus number of cycles obtained for sample 5. The crack was detected at 7,500 uh, cycles and fails at, at uh, 19,000 cycles. The crack was tracked visually comparing maximum load picture. Uh, next step in this study will be uh, the effect of an overload in the crack growth rate. This is the delay on the fatigue life. The crack opening displacement COD was estimated from uh, digital image correlation technique uh, measurements taking 0.3 mm behind the crack tip. Uh, the displacement data from above and below the crack uh, were used for computing COD according to this equation. Uh, COD measurements were derived from the external surface of the specimen since the specimen thickness in the crack region was small. No large differences are expected across the, the thicknesses. Uh, this slide shows a picture of the displacement field of the crack at uh, 15,000 cycles. This first plot is, uh, is of load versus a COD in micrometers, and the second one shows the procedure to evaluate the opening load during the experiment. Uh, giving a value, in this case, of 13.8 uh, kilonewtons. So, the conclusion are a preliminary, preliminary study of a notch additively manufactured margin steel has been done based on critical plane models. Smith, Watson and Topper appears to give a good result both in terms of life and cracking direction, probably due to the material failure mode being tensile. The prediction given by a critical plane model are very accurate in the light cycle fatigue, low cycle fatigue regime. For longer lives, the critical plane approach overestimates the rare fatigue life. Moreover, the failure took place away from the notch, which suggests that there is other failure mechanisms involved that are not considered in the approach. The open load uh, was calculated from the COD values for different crack length. Thanks for your attention.